Hello everyone! So weighted average is a way to calculate average considering the weight of each component. So in our example we have a list of items and we have a list of prices and quantities for each of them. And if we just have an average of the prices we get 3.8. The first method to calculate weighted average by total is to calculate an additional technical column which will calculate the price times quantity and as a next step we shall calculate some of this metrics sum of price times quantity column divided by sum of quantities and it will give us 4.41 and you can see that the result really deviates from the arithmetic average because each component has high difference here. Second way to calculate weighted average is called manual and in this way we just multiply each component price times quantity and add up one to each other and after that we divide it to sum of quantities here. So in this cell we have just a sum of all quantities here. And the next way to calculate the weighted average is sum product. So uh, here you use a formula called sum product and you first of all select array which is blue and then array which is red. And after that you divide the result by D16, so the same logic as in the last case, and it gives you the same result. result. And the fourth way to calculate weighted average is to use a pivot table. So let me guide you through the process how to create it. First of all, you select the source of the table, then you go to insert and pivot table. And let's paste it on the existing worksheet for our example. So let's say it's here. Okay, um, as a next step, what we need to do? We need to create an additional column which will be calculated based on the initial result. So we go to Analysis section, then Fields, Items and Sets and Calculated Field. And right here we need to select uh, Price times Quantity and divide it by Quantity. And then we need to rename the field, let's call it Weighted average and then we press OK and actually we see the same result but we need to change the format of the cells so we go to number and go to two decimals and as the next step the advantage of this pivot is that we can add up the item name and it will show you the weighted average for each item name and the total result that's it thank you